so I called my medical team to check corona. They took uh, samples as usual. There is what they call a rapid one. That one was negative. Then there are two which go for deep analysis. Uh, one was negative, the other one was positive. So I'm a suspect of corona as I'm standing here. <laughs> That's why you saw me coming in separate cars with Mama, saying, Mama, please, you use your car. The, the, but since I'm here, I will not infect you. I, I have kept my di the big distance here. So we, we, shall, we, we, shall, we, shall, we shall sort out that little issue. Thank you very much. <laughs> but Lorem, and who is the girl representing Pokot now? Amadat, who is the girl? Can I see how she looks like? Where is that girl? Come and I see you. I have not seen you. There was one who was shooting at Chiangkwan the other year. That was one of them. When we were in Uganda's longtime president says he is taking forced leave after testing positive for COVID-19. Yoel Museveni, who has ruled Uganda since 1986, said on Twitter that he was experiencing mild symptoms as he goes into isolation. While two of three samples collected from him earlier in this week tested negative, one returned a positive result, he said in a statement Thursday. I have therefore got the second forced leave in the last 53 years ever since 1971 when we started fighting it. I mean, he said, citing the dictator who ruled Uganda in, in the 1970s. Museveni, 78 years, said he delegated his duties to Prime Minister Robina Nabanja. News of Museveni's sickness has drawn mixed reactions from Ugandans. While some are wishing him a quick recovery, others elsewhere on social media have not been so kind. Museveni won a sixth presidential term in 2021. His supporters are urging him to run again in 2026 amid an apparent presidential bid by his son who is critical of the ruling party. While Museveni is beloved by many Ugandans who credit him with bringing relative stability to the East African country, many others see him as an authoritarian authoritarian who depends on the security forces to stay in power. We wish him a quick recovery and thank you so much for watching.